Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting Diophantine equation. In other words, an equation with integer solutions. So A, B, C are integers, and we have A, B, C plus A, B plus A, C plus B, C equals 22 minus A minus B minus C. We're going to be solving for A, B, and C values. So we're going to try to find all the solutions. Diophantine equations are very special. I made a video of a lecture video on Diophantine equations and different types. You can go out and check it out. And also I have a playlist of Diophantine equations and number theory problems. If you like complex numbers, go ahead and check out my other channel, which is called A plus BI, where I focus on complex numbers. Great, so we have this equation and now we're gonna to try to solve for ABC, but how do you solve when you have three variables and a single equation? That's the beauty of Diophantine equations. They can be solved most of the time, right? Maybe sometimes. So in this case, we have a really nice pattern. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side except for the number 22. And there's a good reason behind it. I'll tell you in a little bit. So let's go ahead and add the ABC. We get ABC plus AB plus AC plus BC plus A plus B plus C equals 22. Notice the symmetry. A, B, C are interchangeable. And that's going to matter when we write all the solutions. Because if you can just find one triple, then they're going to permute, right? So how do we solve a problem like this? First of all, we're going to start by factoring. And how do we factor it? I'm going to factor all the terms that contain A. Of course, they have something in common, right? So we're going to take out an A, and this will be B, C and then plus B, plus C, plus one for the A, plus everything else, B, C, plus B, plus C equals 22. Nice, but not completely nice because we need to do something. And that is gonna be adding something to both sides. And that is determined by the expression inside the parentheses. Take a look at this and take a look at that. Do they look similar? Absolutely, they differ by one. So we need to add one to both sides. And when we do, we have to do it on both sides, of course. We're also going to be able to factor by taking out one because one is the only greatest common factor here. So now we have a common factor, including this. And now we can take out BC plus B plus C plus one, or we can take out A plus one. Doesn't matter, same idea. I'm going to take out A plus one and it'll be multiplied by BC plus B, plus C, plus 1, and 22 plus 1, as you should know, is 23. Awesome. Now, what is the next step? The next step is factoring again. Guess what? The second factor is factorable. <laughs> Factors that are factorable. What else can you ask for? So notice that we can factor out a B. That's going to be C plus 1 followed by 1 times c plus 1, which means this can be written as b plus 1 times c plus 1. And of course, include the a plus 1 in the product, and you have everything you need. Awesome. So this is something to think about. And there's been some math competition problems, Olympiad problems in the past that uses this type of pattern. So you might want to just think about it. When you multiply a plus one, b plus one, and c plus one, you get a, b, c, and you can also think of it from a counting standpoint. You're gonna be choosing a, b, c from each of these. That's gonna give you product a, b, c. And if you choose like one from here, and again, c from here, that's gonna give you a, c, b, c, a, c, b, c, and then uh, a, c, a, c, b, c, a, b. <laughs> I forgot the first one. And then eventually you're going to choose one, 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 and that'll give you one. So basically you're going to get eight terms, right? Two times two times two. And as you can see here in our original expression on the left-hand side, we had seven terms, which means something is missing. Of course, when you have seven terms, you can't really group them. That's a prime number. That's an odd number. But if it's eight, then you can make groups. Make sense? Okay, great. So... This is a pattern, hopefully you'll recognize this in the future so that you can directly do this without uh, trouble. Okay, now where do we go from here? Of course, this was the most important part, but we're not done yet. 
we still need to solve for A, B, and C. And how do you do that? You can basically think about how 23 is factored. Well, 23 is prime. So you can only factor it 23 times 1. But there are three factors. And notice that A, B, C are integers. I didn't say positive or negative. So they could be both. So let's think about how we can break down 23 into the product of three integers in so many ways. For example, it can be 23 times 1 times 1. Now, by the way, if you picked 23 and 1, 1, you don't need to worry about 1, 1, and 23, because like I said earlier, A, B, C are interchangeable. So we're going to go ahead and write it with a different notation to reflect that, okay? So don't worry about it. Or always focus on different uh, combinations. In this case, this happens to be a combination, not a permutation, because order will be taken care of later. Not that it doesn't matter, but initially it doesn't. What's another choice? Well, maybe we can just use negative 23 along with a 1, but we do need a, we do need a ne positive 23 at the end, so then one of these should be a negative 1. Is there another choice? Could we use negative 1 twice? Can we? Absolutely, we can. If you use negative 1 and negative 1, then the third one needs to be positive 23 again. So for positive 23, we have two ways to continue these two ways. And if uh, this the first number is negative 23, then there's only one option because the order doesn't matter initially. And 1 and negative 1 is the only choice. Make sense? That's pretty much it. If you have all the choices, now we're going to put it in a nice form but wait a minute be careful and make no mistake i'm not saying abc values are 23 1 and 1 because this is just a plus 1 this is b plus 1 and this is e plus 1 therefore this means if a plus 1 is 23 that means a is 22 and then from these two you get b equals 0 and c equals 0 so that's one of my triples right and then what about the other one this one is going to give me negative 24 and then this is going to give me 0, and this is going to give me negative 2. So let's put commas. And then for the third one, we get 22 along with negative 2 and negative 2. Because they both have to be negative. Make sense? Great. Whoops. Did, did we put 0 for C? Sorry about that. I meant to say, okay, not 0, of course. B is going to be, yes, it's going to be 0, actually. Never mind. What am I talking about? Uh, but uh, let's see, let me fix this real quick. If A is 22, then B is 0, and then C is 0. Yeah, okay, so we, we kind of pick it like this. Okay, okay, Th those are my pairs or triples. 24, negative 24, 0, and negative 2, yes. And then this one is going to give me 22, negative 2, and negative 2. Okay, so this is the way to handle it, otherwise it's going to look weird. But here's how I can write it. A, B, C as a set can be written as 22 comma 0 comma 0. You know what that means? You can choose them in any order. Actually, you don't repeat elements in a set, so bear with me on that. We're going to have to repeat them. And then, of course, similarly, you can write the other elements as well. Again, permutations are allowed. After you determine one triple that works, the others are just permutations. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in the other video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.